Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so Blueface's mom Carlissa is making it clear that her and her son have been on good terms. She made this post saying that when she seen her son, he looked happy and relieved. And I personally feel like she was throwing shade saying that he's happy and relieved that he's back with Jaden at home and krishan has gone. Well, it looks like Carlissa spoke too soon because somebody spotted Blueface and Krishan on Catalina Island. Fans also spotted Blueface's hand in the video Krishan posted of herself. Blueface then tried to cover up the fact that he was with Krishan by posting an old video of his kids on his Instagram story. So after Blueface posted the video of his kids, it definitely confused a lot of people, but it didn't confuse me because I knew exactly what he was doing. Also, Jaden's sister posted their son Javon on her page because she was babysitting the same day that Blueface was with Krishan. Oh. One day after he was out with Krishan, he did this event with Jaden and his friends. So it's pretty clear that Blueface has gone back to being public with Jaden Alexis and private with all the other girls. I don't know if this was during the event or directly after the event, but Blueface tweeted, don't chase no female. If they like you, they will stand still. I personally think that's the worst advice he could have given, but that's besides the point. I'm guessing that he is not talking about Jaden because she has been standing still waiting for him this whole time. Although he may be talking about Krishan, I don't know if he is, but she is on the verge of walking away. So that would make more sense. He then went on to tweet, everybody in your family says they're going to be there to help you watch your kids until it's time to be there and help you watch your kids. And I have to admit, I can finally agree with Blueface on this because it's 100% true. But in reality, nobody has to help you with your kids, but people do say they'll babysit when you're pregnant. And then once the baby comes, everybody is busy with their own lives. So some people believe that he was talking about Krishan because she believes that people will help her babysit her baby. And others think that he was talking about his mom, Carlissa. So when somebody DM'd Carlissa saying he's talking about you, she said, no, ma'am, he ain't talking about me. But no, ma'am, I'm busy on my show, so I'm not watching no kids. So I don't think Blueface was talking about his mom because she does always watch the kids most of the time. I personally don't know if he was talking about Krishan, but he did retweet this tweet and then deleted it. So at this point, it's looking like he was talking about Krishan. Krishan then tweeted, there's always better waiting for you. I don't know exactly what she meant by this, but this tweet was 100% facts. So Blueface's mom, Carlissa, recently posted this old photo of herself. She tagged Diddy, Shaq, 50 Cent, and Usher to remind them that she's been that queen. So about a week and a half ago, Carlissa went live crying about everything that her family has been through. And here and it is. Day. I'm just watching my kids grow and change. And Love to see this side of you. Don't let them run you crazy, child. Woo. They almost ran me crazy last year, honey. It was a bad year, but I'm telling you, God said, hold on. And when you hold on, oh, I was laughing at him for making $40 an hour. These celebrities paying him $150 an hour to take care of their parents. And I'm just looking like, my son? What Tasha K say? My kids ain't shit. Remember that? Boy, the, the Lord gonna let y'all know. She shouldn't have never said that. Remember she said, my kids ain't shit. I got three kids that ain't shit. Look at my kids. You motherfuckers better keep looking. You better not stop. You better not blink. You better keep looking. I 
I mean, I understand you like this side of me, but it's a time and a place for everything. When I'm at war about my kids, it's war. When I'm congratulating them, I'm congratulating them. I just, it's been a, it's been a uphill battle. Y'all don't know, just, just for me to even be on this damn call. <laughs> when ain't Tasha K down to somebody, it didn't really, it didn't really like, when she said I had three kids that ain't shit, I really, I, I know the truth, but it's like, damn, that's how y'all gonna look at my babies? After all of this I've been through with them? Baby. Where my husband? My husband at work. It's our morning coffee time. Where your husband at? See what I'm saying? Then y'all want to know why y'all get this side of me. It's weirdos like that. Ask them where my husband at. And this bitch ain't never going to ever, ever, never, ever have a husband. And she worrying about where my husband at. Because I'm on here giving my testimony that she mad about. just subscribed love the first episode thank you thank you darling so much i was just telling my daddy what a joy that was to be on camera with everybody just showing love and that 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 the next that this next episode is gonna be even better and the third one is just gonna keep getting better and better everybody is totally excited about this whole show that's done took us almost 15 years to get out on on the camera from the paper I'm definitely my kid's protector. My three daughters are grown and my son is preteen. Yes, baby, don't give up on your kids. There's some people on here. I know your mama and daddy done gave up on you, but don't give up on yourself. Say what they want. You raised them right and it shows. Child, you don't even know what that was like to like look around after you've been through so much for and with your kids for people to say something like that. But God said they're going to attack you where your pride is. They're going to attack you where you, you know, most prideful. And that's, I put too much pride into my kids. There was nowhere else to attack me. Yes, ma'am. These are blue ain't all the way in the clear yet, but he's starting to see the light. He's starting to see the light. Callie is a great baby and older sister. She in college, raising her kids, maintaining her life, and she don't, all that she been through, she don't blink, she don't sit around and cry and get drunk and mope, mope about the shit, you know what I'm saying, she up handling her business, I'm so proud of her too, she keep them on their toes, she got Andre <laughs> full-time personal training, and he in college, honey, he trying to keep up with that sister, I'm a mom of three. I get it. Girl, you don't know what this year has been like. Now, if I was if I was some type of trash mom who didn't do shit for them, wasn't with them, didn't, you know what I'm saying, didn't help them, you know, they was in foster care or lived with their grandma, something like that, you know what I'm saying? I could take that shit, but after all you've been through when you stood 10, 11 toes down, for people to be walking around talking about your kids ain't shit. I don't care if they call me crazy. I don't care if, what they say about me. But the job I did and what I gave, that I did not deserve that. So I personally feel like this live showed that Carlissa is human and she has real emotions just like everyone else. I can admit that it definitely caught me off guard because she usually goes on live to talk smack about someone or throw shade but to see her crying it definitely was different i think i'm so used to carlissa being mean that i almost didn't take this live seriously because it's hard to tell if she's really genuinely sad or if she's just acting because she has been in movies overall i think she does want the best for her kids but she has the worst delivery sometimes and it's clear considering she has been in la since her kids were small that she has wanted to be famous for a long time 
So it seems like she cares more about getting fame and attention over her kids approval. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.